With the start of the new semester, it may have brought back some memories of rushing around trying to find all your classes. You may even have stopped to look at one of the many campus maps posted around. If you are particularly observant, you may have noticed a few changes. For my Eagle Scout project, I updated DP's campus maps. In order to achieve Eagle Scout, the highest rank in Scouts, every Scout must plan, prepare, and then lead a service project. For William Shen, this was quite the process. Well, the first thing I actually did was I went around the school and made sure I found all the maps. Turns out there's 13 of them, which is, I mean, both kind of more than I expected, but it makes sense. It's a big school, lots of walls and whatnot to put maps on. The initial plan was just to update the map with the new developments on campus. When William went to update the map in Adobe Illustrator, he found quite a few inconsistencies, so he pivoted. What ended up happening was more so of, um, I guess an overhaul of just about all the elements of the map. After months and months of revisions, redesigns, and reworks, William eventually sent the maps off to print. On December 17th, William led volunteers from Troop 37, and together they put up the new maps. The process started by removing the old sealant and plexiglass from the wall and then detaching the map. However, after the new map could be put up, there was a couple more steps. After removing the old maps from the plexiglass, before installing the new maps, there were two things that we had to add. One was a new You Are Here sticker, and another thing I had to do with the new maps before we could actually seal them in was I, um, when I sent the map file off to the printing company to do the printing, I actually missed a couple more doors on admin, so I had to sharpie those in on all of them. Once the maps were revised, they could be reattached to the walls and resealed. While the process was generally straightforward, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Okay, so some of the plexiglass was a bit broken. One of them in particular, outside H30, has um, a really large crack running down the middle. And so we had to be careful with those to make sure we didn't break them more. And I mean, I don't think we fully broke any pieces of plexiglass this time. Despite the minor complications, all the maps were put up. The maps themselves are more than just a guide for the students. The reason I added the doors was so that emergency personnel could see at a glance what rooms would lead where. Um, these maps also have um, evacuation zones, the colored regions labeled one, two, three, and four. Each one of the evacuation zones is uh, supposed to evacuate to the stadium using the corresponding uh, colored entrance into the stadium. Whether you're a student, visitor, or emergency personnel, the maps only prove useful when correct. Changes to the campus left the maps outdated up until William's Eagle Project. Now, if you ever feel lost, just glance at the nearest map with a You Are Here sticker and all. For DP News, I'm Gabriel Castleman.